from above the Trinity River. On the start Dallas, Texas. The crowd is assembled at the American Airlines Center looking for a Mavericks win here. At and let's get this update now from Doris Brooks. Thank you, Kevin. The Magic head coach and I had a chance to talk just for a bit. Minimizing steals is one of his big focal points in this game. He said that taking care of the ball and not giving away possessions is something that is paramount to his team's chances for success in this basketball game, guys. Thanks for that report, Doris. Guys, you think we'll see game play? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's almost no question that what they're doing offensively at the beginning of the game will change several times before they finish. Well, that's what the defense they're facing forces you to do. You have to be ready to adjust and make some changes. It's too complex a defensive scheme to just attack it one set way. Looking at Dallas, they want to turn it around after the loss to Cleveland. I didn't like the defensive game plan. They had going on that one. Just see how the matchups were wrong. And they didn't bring the energy necessary either. You know, it was befuddling to me why they stuck with that, Steve. I mean, they dug themselves a hole, and then they didn't make the changes they had to get out of it. They didn't make any good adjustments there. You can see the eye contact there. Gave a little nod, and then burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. No doubt, Parker. Their teammates with a terrific feel for each other out on the floor. Mm -hmm. And what a play to make it a close game. A potential momentum builder. Six. And the pass to Mr. Moves. Knocked away. Hardaway with the steal. And here we go. The Mavericks in a fast break. And foul by that time. Right into the line. Shoot two. With this pause in the action, let's show you the team that okay. scored the most points in the league last season. In third, the Mavericks. Boy, they do an excellent job offensively. Most of the season last year, they were... Well, let's take a look at where Orlando ended up, Kevin, rank-wise in the league last year. Fourth and fewest turnovers per game. Eighth in steals. And they were in the top ten in team blocks. Not elite level, but pretty good nonetheless. Very well-coached team. You look at the numbers, and you talked about the few turnovers. The top five in the league, in fact, in fewest mistakes. So, uh, it was a well-disciplined, well-coached team. Uh, and when they're on their game, they're just one of those teams you hate to play against because they don't give you anything easy. This is how the floor looks for the Magic starting the second. This is a two amino. Pass to Mr. Moose. Switch, 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 switch! Just four to shoot. The Magic oh. gives a shot off here. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they'll count the bucket. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. And that call gets an instant reaction from the fan. Well, that's a whistle that did not go over very well. Now here is Hardaway. He fans was right there. This is a no luck. Second shot opportunity. No luck. Gordon with the defensive effort. Terrific job at that time defending at the way. It's not an easy task. Good job. He's got nine. Guys, he's actually indefatigable. He never gives in, he never gives up on a play, and that's what it takes to be a great offensive rebound. You have to be relaxed. Almost surprised that he had that much room to work with. The Magic have gone two times in the field here to open the second quarter. And here on the second, with about a minute and a half gone by, Mr. Moves, and then misses. That would have put him up. That's what they call the million-dollar move with the 10-cent finish. And there's the key to Brown. Okay. Yeah, I like that. A foul to save the layup. Make him earn it at the line. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Long. 
been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's possible. No good for Mr. Moose. Well, one of his issues is he's a player that just does not excel at fighting through contact on his way to the rim. As out of bounds, the Mavericks able to retain possession here. And upcoming the schedule for the Orlando Magic. Next up on the schedule, the Grizzlies. That'll be a home game, and that will be the first game of five straight at home. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to seeing how that Philadelphia game turns out, guys. The Magic making a switch here. Vucevic is checking. three. They get the rebound. Even with every shot clanging off the rim, he seems determined to keep hoisting up these three. It might be time to get inside of that all. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Even Mr. Moves in that last game against the Thunder was just a man on a mission. He finished with 25 points, and that scoring outburst set a new season high for him in what was a great exhibition on his part. He really was the second unit for his team in a great performance, guys. Thanks, Doris, for revisiting what was a performance, Clark. It clearly was one of those games that when we look back on his career, this game will be right there among the best that he's played. Well, he was in the zone. One of those games where he was feeling it, everything was going his way, and he attacked, and that's what I like. Once he knew it was his night, he just attacked relentlessly. Aminu with it. He picked up 12 points in their last win against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. Yeah, that's all you. Pulls it up. Yeah, Amy is the jumper. Five seconds left in the first half. One second left. And a tight game here as we end the first half. Mavericks ahead, up by one. And now. Brought to you by Sprint. And everything is the Sprint Halftime Report. Presented by Sprint. The third quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. This is one outstanding game. Here's Mr. Moves, Richardson Carter. Here's the three. Hardaway with the steal. And the Rubenau uses the glass to finish the game. Ten points for him. It's got to be nice for them to know that game in and game out, his offense is going to be there for them. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Back to Gordon. Six to shoot. Launches it. Back will get another chance. Here's Mr. Moves. Here's Mr. Moves. And he draws body contact. Looked like a blocking foul, and he was uh, in the shooting motion. So he'll head to the free throw line. This is his first free throw of the game. You know, in their last game, he was dialed in at the line. Yeah, no question. I mean, it may have been the strongest part of his game that night. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. No free throws. Good for Mr. Moves. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. There's the pick. Green, green, green. Back to Johnson. Hardaway. That's in there, Jackson with the assist. Hardaway has got nine points. And another three-pointer to their second half total. Yeah, they caught that long-range bug at halftime, and it's been bombs away ever since. Third quarter of basketball here in just gone by. Yeah, he's always confident, composed. Even under pressure, he just has a demeanor about him that you like if you're his teammate. <laughs> he just feels like <laughs> 19 seconds left in the third. <laughs> On the wing, Gordon. On the wing, Gordon. 
takes the three. Oh, the and as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come. And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Mavericks. Boy, defensively, they've played with a high energy level, guys. And all the steals we've seen, really a result of that aggressiveness. You know, adding to that, Steve, you look at their block totals tonight, and you see how feisty they've been on the defensive end this game. Shot clock at six. Woo! Kick it out! Here's our Dallas needs to the And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. Let's see what the Dallas Mavericks have coming up. Next up for them, the Knicks coming out here to play. And that game is the second of two straight at home. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the locks. Courtesy of Peter Ray for the fourth hit. On the court for Orlando. Now he's really stood out for his club team. Even though they're struggling a little bit, he's doing his part. You got, you got, you got. And that one misses. Mavericks leading by nine. On up the court. Oh! And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact. Okay. And the first one drops. Both shots good from the strike. The Magic trail by 11. To the middle. Good after a nice lead pass. Guys, he shot a very good percentage today, and they've needed it. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. Excellent display of team play. Steve, I know you love great teamwork. They have so much fun to watch when the ball is moving. And there's kind of a, a rhythm to the game that just happens. The ball moves on its own. It's cool. Seems like he's gotten every single rebound today. Glass eating. <laughs> Tell you what, he's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Absolutely insane with that. Oh, 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 the Magic making a switch here. Fournier has checked in. He kicks the puck. Goes out of bounds to the Mavericks as Dallas retains possession. Tries to keep it alive. And that'll be Dallas as it goes out of bounds. Mavericks retain possession. Here's Harzenius. Soft touch off the glass. And the Mavericks lead by 13. He is pouring it on in the second half, guys. I mean, a much better showing than he had before. On the one goal. Oh, good with the triple. Nobody near him. He'll normally make that one. Back to Richardson. Here's Harzenius. Off target from three-point range. Looks like he's just trying to shoot his way out of this cold spell. He's got ball! Oh, come on, guys! What an excellent performance from the field for him. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Orlando with the rebound, and this matchup with the Mavericks is the first meeting of the season. Yeah, this was a tough matchup uh, for them last year, losing both of their games against them. Both teams nibbling at the edges of the playoffs as the season was winding down. Well, okay, I mean, Kevin, maybe the sweep was a little less painful to take since it came out of conference play. Every loss always is painful when you're in the middle of the pack like that. Both free throws good for Mr. Moose. Mavericks leading by nine. And he's going up for the LU. Oh, no luck. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. Oh. It's rebounded by Dallas. 
Hardaway has got six rebounds now in the game. Launches a three. Rebound! Oh. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. The Magic trail by nine. No! 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 Here's Mr. Moves. Inside. Here's Vucevic. And that one's good. That's really the area where they'd like all of their shots to come from. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Rick Carlisle was going over with his team in that last huddle. With his team struggling from three-point territory, he told them to start looking for some high-quality shots inside the paint. We're forcing too many threes, he said. Stop with the bombs and work it inside. He dishes it to Fournier. And stolen by Richardson. Powell kicks to Hardaway. Richardson. Dallas again missing. Here's Mr. Moves. Come to me, come to me. And it's Gordon missing. Dallas leading by seven. It's all in by Gordon. Gordon's got eight rebounds in this game. If he can improve on what's been a shaky day for him this far, they could stretch this lead out. Mr. Moves got four points now in the quarter. Really not providing much offensively here in the fourth quarter. Only one made hoop. Kicks to Richardson. And this one, good. Richardson's got 10 points in just the second half. That's his second three-point of the half on his third overall. Here's Mr. Moves. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And now the rest is going to get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. And the Mavericks making a change here. That's good. Going one or two from the line, and that narrows the gap to seven. He needed to cash in on all those. Missed opportunities at the line are the last thing they need right now. Here's that. And that'll be Dallas as it goes out of bounds. Mavericks retain possession. There's the pick. And so here is Dallas. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Back to Richardson. Shot clock at five. Check the clock! Check the clock! No good. Nice D from Vucevic. Well, he won't miss many of those. Especially with the defender not in the best of positions. Here's Gordon. It's rebounded by Dallas. Position out to Richardson. Here's Thompson. it with authority. Time to turn out the lights on this game. I think they deserve a ton of credit for the way they played here today. Truly a professional display. Vucevic. Here's Richardson. He feeds it to Hardaway. Back to Richardson. Turn my headphone down a little bit. Well, that wasn't the best way to follow what was a really solid win last game. What took all the wind out of your cells tonight? I wish I knew, man. I thought we were about to keep that winning streak going for a while, and somehow we ended up going the complete opposite way. It was like a whole different team out there, and that's a little frustrating for sure. On the one hand, last game, you've got a team riding high. And then on the other hand, you've got tonight's effort. 
which I'd politely describe as pathetic. So we got to find our identity. Are we the strong team or the invisible one? I know which one I vote for. I just hope my teammates are ready to come along for the ride. You feel me?